me sweet race. They call me sweet race. Sippy sweet race. Sippy sweet race. Hop in the range. Hop in the range. Take off in the space. Take off in the space. Hey guys, it's CB Gray coming to you guys live in their Destiny video. How are you guys doing today? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Trials of Osiris because it's coming out two Fridays from now and there's a whole lot of pressure on Bungie's shoulders to ultimately deliver on Trials of Osiris. A lot of people have been waiting on it and no one wants it to fail because if it does, it'd be a gigantic oof. So I kind of want to go back down memory lane, talk about some of the Trials of the Nine weapons as well as some suggestions that I have that can hopefully alleviate some of the pressure that Bungie has on their shoulders. Hopefully you guys will kind of find some of these opinions that I have informative and hopefully they'll be helpful. So if this video does end up being entertaining or helpful, hit the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe because we are getting so close to 60,000 subscribers. So I'm just going to say thank you so much and I'm going to get right into the video. So let's go ahead and talk about the 12 Trials of the Nine weapons. And so the reason that I want to talk about these weapons is if you guys haven't already noticed, some of the old Destiny 1 Trials of Osiris weapons are returning, such as the Doctrine of Passage. And the reason why I think that the old Trials of Osiris weapons and gear are returning is because it took the devs a lot of development time in order to actually get Trials of Osiris, the game mode, working correctly. And so getting the game mode working correctly took away from ultimately the resources that I think were available to make new weapons. And at the end of the day, at least me personally, and you guys can let me know what you think about this in the comments, please, but would you rather have a working and fun and amazing Trials of Osiris game mode and returning weapons or would you ha rather have new weapons and then have a very bad game mode you guys let me know what you want ultimately obviously I'd love to have two but if you could only have one of the two what would you think and so now based on this point this is where I want to insert in an idea that I would have for Bungie. So I'm hoping, and at least I'm hoping, in this video eventually Trials of Osiris will be out, so by the time you're watching this, maybe some of this stuff will be dated. But what I would love is just like back in the day, I'd love there to be bounties that we can complete every week when we're doing Trials of Osiris. And so within these bounties, I would love, I would love, I would love, I would love if the Trials of the Nine weapons would drop from these bounties, but with a twist. I would love if they would drop with random rolls. And so a lot of these Trials of the Nine weapons were really, really good in the past, but the problem with a lot of them is they had the old school perks. They had perks back before there was Rampage and really um, Kill Clip, and it was back in the day where it was the double primary system and weapons like shotguns and sniper rifles were in the heavy slot. It was a dark day for Destiny 2. So it's a very different game now, so a lot of these weapons can't really compete in today's meta, but I think if you added certain perks to some of these weapons, they could compete and it would add an extra layer to the grind. And then not only would we, would we be grinding for the new armor, and not only would we be grinding for Doctrine of Passing and all the um, returning Trials of Osiris weapons, but there are also be Trials of the Nine weapons that we could grind over and over and over again to get the certain God rolls. So that's just an idea I had. I kind of want to just go over all 12 of the Trials of the Nine weapons, because a lot of them, I'm sure, if you're just now joining the game, you didn't even know they existed, because there's no way to get them now at the current moment. Now, granted, this could be different now. I hope it's different, but at the time that I'm recording this, there's no way to get these weapons if you don't already have them. So, uh, luckily, I have these in my inventory already from back in the day, but if you don't, you're kind of unfortunately out of luck as of now. Hopefully, that won't be the case here two Tuesdays from now, or excuse me, two Fridays from now. So the first weapon that we're going to be talking about is the Adjudicator, the SMG. So this has Chambered Compensator, Corkscrew Rifling, Polygonal Rifling, as well as Slight Ways and Hip Fire Grip and Dynamic Sway Reduction. So nothing special here. And the trend that's going to be going on here is you're going to be hearing almost the exact same perks over and over and over again, at least in some shape or form and in some combination because there just wasn't that interesting of a perk pull back in the day. The next weapon that we have is the Relentless Pulse Rifle. I love, 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 love this weapon. It's got Chamber Compensator, Full Bore, Extended Barrel, Slight Waist Head Seeker, and then Snapshot Sights. This is a 340 RPM, and this weapon shreds. I love this weapon a lot. I would recommend if this weapon is ever available again, go get to grinding for this weapon because I think it still shreds in today's Crucible. 
The next weapon is the Last Breath Auto Rifles. This has extended barrel, full bore, chamber compensator, then it has slide shot, dynamic sway reduction, and ambitious assassin. So same trend, all of the similar perks, just in a different combination. Um, this auto rifle is alright, it's not too bad. Um, it's not really able to compete in today's crucible the way it could back in the day. Maybe if it was to come back and the auto rifle uh, buff comes in, this will be a really, really cool weapon to use. But um, yeah, not really so much that you can do with it as of now. The next weapon is Judgment Hand Cannon, and I loved this hand cannon back in the day. It has steady hand, true sight, and hit mark, as well as slide shot, opening shot, and then it has moving target. So this is a 140. I did like this hand cannon a lot back in the day. The problem was, anytime I ever tried to use it, I get destroyed by Uriel's Gift, or I get destroyed by Last Hope, or I get destroyed by Mita, or just insert in any of the boring meta that we had from back in the day. So that was a um, weapon that I loved, but I didn't get to use it quite as much as I liked. Judgment's a really cool hand cannon, I like it a lot. Hopefully, um, they'll come back. The next weapon is Purpose. It's a uh, scout rifle, I really like it a lot. It's got extended barrel, small bore, as well as fluted barrel, and then a slide shot, hip fire grip, and then it has one of my favorite um, perks, if you guys know me and know how much I love my Nightwatch already with explosive payload, this one has explosive payload, and I um, really like this scout rifle a lot. I think it hits really hard, I think it does a lot of good damage. Really good weapon, would be cool to see it come back. The next weapon is the Swift Verdict, this is a sidearm. It's got tactic, target, and short spec, as well as slide shot and threat detector, and then it has Zen moment. This sidearm, excuse me, this sidearm is really good. I have no problems with it. I really like it, and it shreds even today. I mean, if you get really up close on somebody, you're gonna tear them to pieces. So really good sidearm, would love to see what it could do with the right perks attached to it. I think it could be similar to a Last Hope. The next uh, weapon on the list is another one I like. So it's funny, two of my favorite Trials weapons are Pulses. The Relentless and the Darkest Before just completely shred the Crucible. I love them. And so the Darkest Before has Arrowhead, Break, Hammer, Forge, Rifling, Small Bore, Slide Shot, Quick Draw, Full Auto is what makes it really cool. And then lastly, it's a 540 RPM, which is the same archetype as Horus Lee. And I love Horus Least, that's the Nightfall weapon that drops from the Dreaming City Strike, or that's Dreaming City Nightfall, I should say. Then the next weapon that we're going to have is the End, that's the Scout Rifle. It's got Chamber Compensator, Corkscrew Rifling, Polygonal Rifling, rifling excuse me, and a Slight Waste and Auto Loading Holster, and then it has Pulse Monitor. Really good scout rifle, um, nothing too too special about it, I think it's dope, um, it could really benefit from some better perks. As we've said, Chambered Compensator for like the 50 kabillionth time. So, um, and then, funny enough, the irony, the next weapon we have is the Long Walk Sniper Rifle with Chambered Compensator, Corkscrew Rifling again, Polygonal Rifling again. It's got slide shot, outlaw, and quick draw. The standout perks here are outlaw and quick draw, even though I know it's a sniper rifle, but still, um, you just don't see too many weapons running around with outlaw or quick draw in the old school uh, trials weapons. So it was at least a uh, kind of breath of fresh air to see a different perk. This is an aggressive frame sniper rifle. I like it a lot. I used to use it a lot in Crucible. Um, nothing really bad to say about it. Would just love to see snapshot and some other. Um, perks on this sniper rifle versus what we have here. The next weapon we have is the Prosecutor Auto Rifle, it's a cool one. It's got Chambered Compensator, Corkscrew Rifling, Polygonal Rifling, then it's got Slight Ways Tap the Trigger, and then it's got Hip Fire Grip. Good auto, I liked it a lot back in the day, back in the day when um, a Positive Outlook and Uriel's Gift reigned supreme. This is a pretty good auto rifle, it, it did work. You still should use Uriel's gift, but it did work. Um, in today's meta, if they were to buff auto rifles, I think it could be pretty decent. So we'll see what happens. The next weapon is a cold sweat hand cannon, a hand cannon that I know a lot of people really enjoyed using when they needed to uh, have a substitute 180, because this is a 180 hand cannon. It's got precision frame, crossfire, sure shot, slightways outlaw, and grave robber. I think the standout perk on this one was outlaw. Like I said, not too many of these weapons had outlaw. So I think it's really good. I like this hand cannon a lot. I'm not a huge fan of 180s for anybody who knows me, but um, it's a good hand cannon. I like it and I used to use it a lot back in the day, so it's a cool one. I'd love to see it benefit from some actual good perks though, other than Outlaw. The, the last weapon on our list, the 12th one, is a Sudden Depth Shotgun. And so this has Chamber Compensator, Barrel Shroud, Hammer Forge Rifling, Slide Shot and Snapshot, and then it has Threat Detector. Not a bad 
uh, shotgun. The problem with the sudden death and the problem with the long walk back in the day was that these weapons were buried in the heavy slot because it was the double primary system back then. So these weapons just did not see as much love as they deserve. So I didn't get to use these weapons as much as I liked. I would love to see these weapons get a new set of tailored perks and then be able to use these and see what they really can do. Because I like this shotgun, but back in the day I just didn't use it that much because um, Oh, I had Legend Acreus and I just liked it better, but it just it just couldn't compete in terms of heavies. So these are the 12 Trials of the Nine weapons that um, exist still in the game, but I would love to see it exist with random rolls. What do you guys think about these weapons and would you like to see these in the form of bounties? Especially, let me frame it like this. If it was either we just get the old Trials of Osiris weapons and that's it, and then the game mode Trials of Osiris, or we could get Trials of Osiris, the Trials of Osiris wep uh, Destiny 1 weapons, and then random rolled Trials of the Nine weapons, would this help satisfy your hunger until they could deliver us different and fresh new trials weapons let's say next season or in september or whenever the case may be would this be a viable option to hold you over until um the next big dlc came that gave us a fresh new reset of trials of osiris weapons that's going to be a decision for you guys to make and for you guys to articulate in the comments i really really want to hear what you guys think about this i really enjoy going back and playing a lot with these left with these weapons excuse me so um yeah can't wait to hear what you guys think hope you guys did enjoy this video and with that i'm gonna talk to you guys in the next destiny video thanks i love you guys my face is equipped, they shot to the lip Take out the coin, then I flip out the coin, then I flip. Pull out the thorn, then it's real the Dragon tattooed on my hip Invading like my name is Zim Dunking these moats like a rim Yes, I am harder than Shin Making you pay for your sins The drift of the nine Yeah, I'm rolling with them I'm not I feel incredible, no, I'm not regular Stand on a pedestal, joke is wild When he's off of his medicine for my squad I go all like an animal, buy guns Got your head on the red, I put no trust You need to go level up